Hi, my name is Peter Lee, and in today's Tech Talk, we'll be going over Canon flash exposure and general workflow, especially with one very confusing point a lot of customers have, and they ask me about is, well, how do I see what I do, especially with a modern mirrorless camera? So right now, I've got an R6 Mark II, and I've got an EL100 flash through the adapter on its smart shoe, and I've got some pretty basic exposure settings so that, well, we can see what we're doing. So shutter speed is one third of a second, we're shooting f8 with an ISO set at 400. So the exposure looks quite good, but often in flash photography, we want the ambient exposure to be darker. So how do we do that? So we want to speed up shutter speed, and then you can see the screen getting progressively darker and darker and darker. And you notice also I've got manual focus set. So I've got electronic first curtain shutter working, and that gives me a fastest possible sync speed of 1 250th of a second. Now right now my ambient exposure is really dark. I can't really see what I'm doing very well. So how do I actually see what I'm doing using a traditional flash like an EL100? So this is not one of the new flashes like the EL5 that has a special smart shoe. You know, it's one of the older style flashes. So it's all dark right now. But as long as the I can get the meter working, so just tap the shutter button, get the meter working, and the screen brightens up. You see this little lightning bolt pop up on the bottom left. And despite the fact that, hey, it's 1 250th of a second right now, it's F8, and now it just went dark again, I can actually see what I'm doing. The key is always to get this kind of workflow correct is to leave the default setting for simulation on exposure. So regular exposure. So what I mean by that is if you go in the menu, and you go to red menu, tab 9 on the R6 Mark II, display simulation. Just leave exposure simulation on. That's the way it's supposed to be. Don't disable or turn it off. So this way you can quickly see what your ambient exposure will look like. And like me, if you do a lot of manual focus in this kind of a studio style setup, you can just tap the shutter. You can manual focus exactly where you need to be. You can also let it, the meter die, and you can check the ambient exposure very quickly. So by far the easiest workflow with traditional Canon flash. But I did want to show you one extra thing with a smart shoe accessory. This happens to be an STE10 transmitter. So if I pop this on top of the camera, you'll notice something a little bit different. So it's clicked in, but it's not turned on yet. And if I just turn it on, it's kind of like magic nowadays. So the screen just brightens up. You always see a brighter exposure. As long as you have the STE10 on the shoe, it is on. It just fools the whole camera system into thinking that, hey, we're ready to trigger some off-camera flash. Don't fool around with trying to customize your camera too much. The out of the factory default settings for how the camera comes out of the box and how we use it for flash, they work really well. You just don't have to know what to do. Thank you very much.